Now in this question then, we're told that if x lies between 0 and 4, we've got to solve the log of 4 minus x in base 5 minus twice the log of x in base 5 equals 1. Why must x lie between 0 and 4? Well, if x were greater than 4, 4 minus x would be a negative number, and you cannot log a negative number. And if x was 0, for this term, you can't log 0. You'd get an error on your calculator. OK, so how do we solve this equation? Well, first of all, when you solve any log equation, make sure that you've got all the log terms on one side of the equals. Well, we already have, so that's not a problem. Then we've got to group the terms together. And to group the terms together to create one term, we've got to use some of the log rules. And the first rule that we need to do is to get rid of this get rid of this 2 here in front of this log. You should know what we often call the power rule. Let me just remind you in case you've forgotten. That is that if you've got a number, let's say n, in front of a log, let's say a in a, a particular base, then this is identical to the log in base c, say, of a, but you bring the n up as a power, so that's a to the power n. So that's the first thing we have to do, get rid of this 2 here. So that's what we'll do. We'll say that therefore, we'll copy down the first term again, log in base 5 of 4 minus x, and then we've got minus, and we take the 2 up to get x squared, and that equals 1. Now what we've got is one log term minus another log term, and there are no numbers in the front of the logs. So we can use another rule, often called the subtraction rule. Just remind you again about that one. If you've got the log of one number minus the log of another number, they must be in the same base, so we'll say base C, and they are, it's base 5 in this question, then this is identical to the log in the same base, base C, of A divided by B. So we can apply that here. And that's why we had to get rid of this 2 first of all, by the way. Okay, This rule has no numbers in front of the logs, so you've got to be careful about that. OK, so we move on then, and we now have the log in base 5, and we can divide these. So we have 4 minus x all over x squared, and that equals 1. Now we have to remove the log, now that we've got this down to two terms, one term on each side of the equals. We need to mo remove this log. And there's another rule that you should know. Uh, we'll just again put that down over here. And that is that if you have the log of any number in a particular base, and it equals, say, something else, let's say n, that if you get rid of the log, this implies that you get a equals c to the power n. So the c is the 5, the a is 4 minus x over x squared, and the n is the 1. So if we remove the log now, we've got a, which is 4 minus x over x squared, is equal to c which is the base, so that's 5, to the power n, n being the 1. So that's what we have. And this is 5, obviously. So all I need to do now is just multiply both sides by x squared, and that gives me 4 minus x equals 5x squared. And now I have a quadratic equation, which I need to rearrange to make it equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is add x and take 4 to both sides. So we have 5x squared plus x minus 4 equals 0. And then this quadratic factorizes. If you can't factorize it, you can always use the quadratic formula. But it is an easy one to factorize. So you've got 5x and x. And then you've got a 4 and a 1 and a minus here and a plus here. If you expand this out, you'll see you get 5x squared plus x minus 4. OK, and in the usual way, it means that, therefore, either the 5x minus 4 equals 0, 
or the other factor x plus 1 equals 0. And so if we just come down here and finish this off, we see that if 5x minus 4 equals 0, if we add 4 to both sides, 5x would equal 4, and then divide by 5, you'd end up with x equaling 4 fifths. Or, and this one, if you take 1 away from both sides, x equals minus 1. Well, since x must lie between 0 and 4, therefore we have to rule out obviously x equals minus 1, so therefore x equals 4 fifths. OK, so hope you've been able to follow that, and that brings us now to the end of this question.